Stage 78 sees the completion of the right door. This is built in the same way as the left door was built in stage 75. Um, all the parts needed came with stages 76 and 77, apart from the main part of the door which came with this stage. Um, when the door is built, you just need to check the same things. So make sure that the door latch moves this door lock tab here when pressed and that the door hinge clicks 90 degrees when you move it like this and that will complete stage 78 Stage 79 is where you begin to assemble the main parts of the body. Um, with this stage you get the left and right um, sills, the rear under grill, and a pack of 1.7mm um, screws. To begin this stage, take bracket A from stage 72 and secure this to the side of the front compartment. And use a 4mm screw to hold it in place. You can then fit the bonnet stay from stage 72 to the bracket A on the inside. Tighten the screw in place, but make sure that the bonnet stay is still able to move. Fit the front compartment to the front fender and secure in place with three 6mm screws in these three holes here. Turn the fender over and stick some masking tape to keep the headlights in the closed position. Next fit each door and secure with a 5mm screw from the underside. The hinge just fits into this uh, recess one way. Align the holes of door lock part B into the posts on the front fender and secure those with a 5mm screw. With the two door lock part B's secured in place, the doors should stay open on their own when lifted up like this. You can then remove the masking tape from the headlights and you can test them by pushing this bar down and make sure they stay in the open position. Next you need to fit the front fender to the main chassis assembly and you're going to do this by fitting the posts underneath the front fender into these two holes here on the main chassis and also making sure that the door struts fit through the slots on the front fender. So just lower this into position.
you have the door struts through the slots in the fender and the holes on the front nearly aligned, you then need to put the door struts into the door insides themselves. When the large posts on the front fender are in place, you need to ensure that the door struts are inside the um, door inners before you proceed to push down hard on the front posts. To check that the front fender is fully in position, you need to make sure that the, the tab on the side is located over the hole in the main chassis and check also the other side. This hole here is also lined up with the hole in the main chassis. Turn the assembly over and then you need to secure two 6mm screws into this hole here and this hole here. You can then fit another 6mm screw into each of the side tab holes here. Next fit the windscreen wiper into place by putting the large post into the larger of the two holes and the small post into the small hole. Turn the assembly over and secure with a 6mm screw from underneath. Gather the headlamp wires together and tack these into place with some of the black tape supplied in stage 78. and do this on the other side as well. Then bring all the headlight cables from both sides underneath this um, bar in the chassis. Next, fit the bonnet in place and secure with four 1.7 mil screws. And finally, fit the bonnet stay to the bonnet and secure this with another 1.7 mil screw. Make sure the bonnet stay moves freely and with this done that completes stage 79. With stage 80 you get all four um, of the wheel arch fenders. Um, the number plate base and the number plate itself and a selection of small screws. The first thing to do in this stage is to replace the um, plastic steering crank with this metal one supplied with stage 78. So you just basically swap out this and this for these two parts here. In order to connect all the 
cables together, you need to place the underbody on a raised platform about 5cm high and place the main chassis upside down as close as you can to the underbody and then this way you'll be able to reach all the cables. Um, all the cables are colour coded so you need to plug in each colour to the corresponding colour on the main chassis. This is how all the wires should look when all the connections are made. Um, you can put some masking tape over the main bundle to keep it into position and make sure you route the rear light wires behind the boot uh, liner. You next need to lift the underbody and fit it on top of the main chassis. But before you can do this, you need to make sure that the steering um, shaft here is in this position as it needs to locate in this hole here on the steering crank and also as you're doing it make sure that the wires stay out of the way so they don't get trapped. With the underbody fitted in place onto the main chassis before you screw this into position, you need to make sure that the steering um, shaft is fitted into the hole in the steering crank. You can do this by turning the um, wheel hubs and make sure the steering wheel moves inside the car. You also need to turn over the assembly and ensure that the air intake hoses are fitted properly to the air filter sides on the engine bay here and here. You can then proceed to secure the underbody to the main chassis with 12 6mm screws in all of the screw holes that you see on the underbody. When you have all 12 screws in place, you can then fit the underbody grille to the rear of the car and these two um, posts fit in the two slots underneath the exhausts. Next, fit the number plate base to the rear of the car and secure this with two 2.5mm two screws. These are the self-tapping uh, type. Next, take the number plate and secure this to the number plate base with two 1.4mm screws. Next you need to fit the wheels and all four wheels are fitted in the same way. You need to first remove the um, axle bolt from the wheel hub, and then take the disc from the wheel if you taped it in earlier and just fit this inside the calipers like this. Then you can take one of the wheels and fit that so that the notch in the wheel lines up with the notch in the brake disc. With the wheel in place you can then refit the axle bolt. With the four wheels in place and ensuring that they spin freely, you can then fit the four um, magnetic wheel hubs 
and these just place over the wheel nut in the center of the wheel. The next thing to do is to push fit the left and right sills onto the sides of the car and they push fit into the three holes on the um, main chassis using these three posts on the rear of the sill. So just line those up and squeeze them into place. Next you need to install the rear wing to the boot lid and this just fits into the holes and then secures with two 2x5 two screws from underneath. And finally, attach the uh, boot lid stay to the main chassis with a 1.7 by 4 mil screw and tighten that into place. You also need to ensure that the stay still moves when you close the boot. And finally, the last part of the final stage is to remove the protective film from the indicator lenses peel those off like this and then with a soft cloth give the car a final polish to remove all fingerprints.